Oh god. Wow. That's the way to die. <laughs> uh, looking good there, buddy. Welcome, guys. It is the Axeman here, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more Primal Fear. Yeah, boy, we're here in this beautiful, wet weather. It feels like I'm at home. It feels like I'm outside in the beautiful, rainy, British, grey weather it is. <laughs> so, today, we, we're not going to do the boss. We were very close to doing the pick and boss, but I'm going to hold off for one more episode. What we are going to do today, so last episode we tamed the Spirit Griffin, and we were, well, I planned to spend a long time, what are you doing up there? Why, why is this here? You know what, let's not question it. Anyways, so we got a Spirit Griffin, and uh, I was planning on just flying around killing loads of shit. We ended up running into something kind of special, a 180 female Omega uh, Indom. And obviously, we already had a male. So what we've been doing, we've uh, been breeding these uh, in hopes to get a black Omega Indom egg. We have one. And it didn't take too long, to be fair. If we pop into here uh, and just type in black, as we can see, there is a fertilized black Omega Indominus Rex egg. So we are going to hatch that today. But we're not going to go and do that right now. Oh, beautiful. The rain has stopped. We're going to do that after we fought a Demonic Reaper and a Celestial Indom. I want to fight both of them today. We're not going to spend like a whole half hour fighting them. I'll obviously break that down to like five minute clips or whatever. But we're going to try something new. So I grinded my butt off to make the saddle for um, our Apollo, our Spirit Wyvern. So the saddle, 1,609, which is the strongest saddle I think I've ever seen in my whole entire life. So Apollo is going to go and fight the Indom, uh, which should make that dude a little bit easier than using our other Celestial creatures. And then for the Demonic, we're going to use Mega Charizard, and it should be a breeze. Uh, we've got loads of health potions. I've been killing loads of shit. We've got 58 primal health potions, 85 fabled, 74 apex. We've got 188 stimulants. We should be fine. Now, obviously, the reason we're fighting these bosses, number one, we need their souls. Number two, I'm pretty sure I get armor from them. We got these demonic hands from killing the reaper once. So if we kill it again, we might get another piece of that armor. So uh, if it you know proves to be very very easy then we should definitely start like just killing these as often as i can maybe every day i try you know go and get all the origins and just start killing these to get a full set of armor ready for the boss uh we'll see what happens but um yeah we're prepping up for the pick and boss fight i'm uh, i'm hoping i'm ready for it i feel like i will be but we'll see what happens but i'm really excited to uh hatch that black omega indom just to test that out as well so yeah first part of the episode we're going to do these boss fights second part we'll hatch the egg grow it up and test out this bad boy and see what these dudes are actually about how strong they are where they fit into the kind of i don't know the general scale of all these creatures are they better than demonic are they not better than demonic are they better than apex who knows so before we do start and jump into it if you do enjoy the episode today at any point make sure you do whack a like on the video if you do not whack a like on the video i will fly to your house on my spirit griffin and drop one of the uh, spirit bombs and it won't destroy your house. It won't hurt anyone. It will It will just turn all the lights in your house on and you'll never be able to switch them off. So when you're trying to go sleep, the light, and it'll be really bright as well. It won't be a dim light. It'll be bright. It'll be like the sun is in your house and no one's going to be able to sleep ever again. So if you don't want that to happen, make sure you're whacking a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribing, you ring the bell, never notifications, all that good shit. And if you do want to support the channel that little bit more, you can become a Patreon or a channel member. And then if you want your name on the sign of legends, just like Juvaka, is that what I was saying that? Juvaka, Juvaka. Uh, all you gotta do is leave a comment in the uh, comment section and you can get your name on the sign of freaking legends Okay, let's go then and just hop straight into it because we're gonna go and do the first boss We're just gonna go fly over there on Lucy as we always do So I'm gonna go to the same spot that we always go to because this is our little boss fighting area This is where we do the demonics uh, the Dominic Reaper and the Indom. I don't know why. I just like it here. It's nice and flat and I'm familiar with the place. It's not shit that's going to come and try and eat me. It's just turtles and horses. The occasional demonic kind of done, but we ain't got to worry about that. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll start the fight. We'll see how it's going and then I can, you know, skip to the end for you. So you don't have to sit there and be bored of all of that. So Apollo, come on out. You know what I should have done? Hmm... 
do I or do I not go and put an, a max XP potion on you? Mm, I'm not gonna. No, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. All right, let's just get set up then. So I'm gonna pop a handful of these in, a handful of them in. Uh, yeah, a couple of them in. Okay, boys, are we ready for this? Just a straight up boss fight to start the day with. What's my attack, by the way? Is it X? It is X. Cool. And that dude's kind of that. Okay. Just you kind of get, get him a range. It's been a while since we actually used this dude's attack. All right. Here we go then. So we're going to summon this dude in 3, 2, 1. Boom. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Hello, Indom. I wonder if it's worth me shooting this to the ground. Let's see. Look at that. Health going down. I'm also just going to eat one of these. Uh, are we like... Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you. There you are, all the way back over there. I feel like I'm like pushing it around. We're killing all these minions. Oh, I am burning. I forget that I need to eat some of these. All right. We're doing fine so far. He's all the way over there. Okay. I thought this would be a little easier, but uh, I think we just got to get him into this. And then we can hurt him. All right. Cool. All right. Well, this looks like it's going to be pretty easy. So, uh, yeah. I will bring you back when he's uh, nearly dead. You know what? I'm going to bring you back right now. Uh, we've only been fighting a very little amount of time. Look at his health. Look at his health right now. We got him in a sweet spot. Boom. There we go. Simple as that. That was a very easy boss fight. That took us a matter of minutes, if that. All right. Do we get any goodies from you? Oh, you was a beautiful one that came here. Nice, like, white with, like, blue eyes or something. Sick. Uh, you do have a bag there, I see, as well. I would like to check that out. I would like to see if there's any goodies in there. Uh, we do have a Celestial Blade. Okay, so we've had... From the Celestial Dude, we've had the Sword and the Shield. Wow. Stuff that I'm not really going to use. This Legendary Celestial Blade provides increased base stats and also spawns in a tamed, unrideable, temporary Celestial Aloe as a protector. Okay, hang on a hot second. Hang on a hot second. Whoa! Okay! Okay, I take this back. This is amazing. I don't know what I did with the shield. I wonder if the shield did. So if I put that away, he disappears. Bring him out. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's the greatest thing ever to happen. Um, all right. Let's grab all your shit. Don't need any of that. Okay, I do want to just go and fight something with this blade real quick. I and mean, then I'm going to just go straight on to... Uh... All right, I'm sorry, stuck on to you. All right, Mr. Aloe, come here. Let's just go fight something. And then we'll move straight on to the Reaper. But yeah, the Celestial Dude, well easier. Love that. All right, let's get it. Bro, what the heck? I love this. This is amazing. Celestial Minion, 1,000... Uh, 100, sorry, 140,000. There's a toxic dude. Go and get him, boy. He just explodes everything around him. Why, why do I want to stab you? Oh, okay, cool. I didn't get to stab it. Um, All right. That's neat. That's amazing. All right, what we're going to do then, let's go and get uh, Mega Charizard out, who I did not bring with me. Did I not bring him with me? Do I want to use Hades for this? Because the Wolver Wyvern, it was amazing and really easy. Do I test Hades just to see what it's like? Or do I just stick with my guns and use what works? I think I'll just stick with my guns. Mega Charizard, he's new, he's powerful. All right, let me go and grab him because for some reason I left him at home because I'm big stupid and then we'll fight the boss. Okay, boss fight two coming up. So I'm, I think we might need a little more health potions than we did with the Spirit Wyvern. Uh, I've got my health potions there. We're going to pop them into you there. We're going to make sure you're powered up. Okay, so uh, I guess we just jump into this one. And boom, there we go. I'm just going to pop in one of these just to start with. Okay, let's remember how good we are at this. Yeah, oh, look at that. Yeah, not as good as the Spirit Wyvern on the Indom. I say that. Look, at this is a boss. This is a whole boss. And we are destroying his booty pipes. God damn. We're amazing. We're amazing. Just got to make sure I'm not taking damage. Awesome shit. All right. Let me get this dude killed. And here we go. And he is also dead. Just like that, boys. That one was a little... 
harder than the Indom. I'm stuck inside of something right now. Can't see what's going on. It was a little harder than the Indom. Oh, God. Wow. That's the way to die. <laughs> uh, looking good there, buddy. Striking a pose for us. All right. Did we get any shit from you? Just our regular stuff. The summons. Uh, yeah, he... Um, I don't know. He didn't, like, hurt me as the rider, but he hurt us a little bit and uh, had to use a couple more health potions. But it is what it is. All right. Do you have a bag for us? You do. Can we get a nice bit of armor from this, please? Because that would be amazing. And I do see two bits of armor. I'll take everything in there. We did get some leggings. So demonic armor provides heavy physical protection. Protects you from that nasty radiation and radiation sickness. Um, doesn't really go with me shirt, but it is what it is. So we've got some hands that are nowhere near as good as them. But they do the same thing, right? Uh, stops you from getting burnt. Stops you from getting burnt. Cool. So we've got to spare one of them. So, uh, yeah, I should probably uh, do a couple more of them fights just to get this armor set. Or try and get that armor set if I can. Uh, oh, five levels from you. I'm, I'm going to keep your health as it is. I'm actually going to go for some melee. 369 Charizard. You are amazing. You're just as good as your... Charmander and normal Charizard. Sweet. So that's the souls we needed. All I need to do now is... I think that's it. I think that's all I need. I think I've got to make one more spirit orb to summon the boss, which we can definitely do next episode. So with that out of the way with, we are going to hatch this Black Omega Indom and we're going to see what it's all about and obviously wait for it to grow up and stuff. Uh, Lucy, you go chill there. Let me go and put this stuff away. I'll get the egg. I'll bring it right back. My hips look too big in these bottoms. I don't like it. Looks like I've got really, really wide hips. Makes my body proportion look a little... Uh, a little funkier. All right, so still just the one Black Omega egg. So out of what we say... How many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 24. So like 30, 30 plus eggs and we've only got one Black Omega. I don't know if that's a good or bad turnout. I'm not sure what the percentage, like the drop rate is for this, but... I don't know. 1 in 30 seems actually not too bad for a rare egg. Maybe I just got really lucky. Who knows? Uh, okay, cool. Let's... Uh, do I have meat? I do have a li little tiny bit of meat. All right, let's drop this down then, and we'll see what is going on. So, fertilized black Omega Indominus Rex eggs. So, I'm going to guess it's going to be a, just a jet black Indom, right? Maybe like, uh, maybe like uh, the legendary Pegasus with a bit of Omega Fire stuff on it. Let's see what you're going to look like, sir. I am excited for this. You're not black. You're not black at all. Why are you even called that? There is zero black color on you. You just look like a normal Indom or an Omega Indom. Huh. Okay. Um. Right, I guess uh, maybe you're a little bit darker. Your head actually looks brighter than before. That was disappointing. Uh, I need to get some more meat. Who has meat on them? Or am I going to have to go out and grab some? You've got meat on you. Cool. Because remember, I don't feed my creatures. So <laughs> probably all starving right now. Uh, I'll pop that onto you. Okay, this is going to take a hot second. Uh, I'll bring you back for the first imprint. Because we may or may not get 100%. Depends what our rates are like on here. But we'll, we'll check that out. And then we're just going to have to wait for it to grow up. I'm going to actually go and grab some more food, actually. All right. What are we saying, sir? What would you like cooked prime meat? I don't have that on me and I can't be bothered to cook some. So what we're going to do is we're going to put you in here. We're going to throw you back out and it's going to change to a cuddle. Hell yeah, it is. There we go. 100%. That's what we like. Cool. All right, let's give you your meat back. So, I did place a feeding trough down so everyone can stop shouting at me. After 45 episodes, we have a feeding trough. My creatures will eat well tonight, at least. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we're going to wait forever for this dude to grow up. And then we're going to we're gonna test him out. We're going to see what he's all about. So, I'll see you all later on. God, look at my hips, man. It looks weird. It looks all right from the front, but from the back, it looks weird. I don't know, man. That's the same first person forever. Cool. All right, we're back. I've just grabbed the saddle off the uh, the dad Indom, and now we're going to whack this on the the Black Omega. Now, I'm hoping it takes the same saddle. It should technically sort of be the same creature, right? So if I pop this onto you... Okay, perfect. So 
Here we go. This is a Black Omega fully imprinted, very speedy Indom. Also, you know what? I completely forgot to check. Do you have stats like the other Omega creatures do? If we pop into here. Okay, yeah, we do. So 85% defense, 6 attack, and 1.5 movement speed. Obviously, we don't really have another one to compare that to. So we just kind of, we get what we're given right now. Can we breed these? Say enable one into me. I wonder if we can get a female of these and just breed black ones. Okay, can we fit through the door? We are so fast. All right, left click. Here we go. Half a million damage. Half a million damage. Okay, do we do any other abilities? Right click. That's a roar. Is that going to spawn minions at all? Uh, C. X. Troll. Uh, is heal. I always forget that. That's heal. Okay. There is a Primal Rex over here. I would like to fight you. Nom. Nom. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. All right. So, I'm going to take that. I guess we get that to 3 million. And then just do a handful of melee, right? Because we want to get this to as high damage as we can. There's half a million already. Easy half mil. Like... We're so fast as well. That's an insane amount of damage. I never thought a primal fear creature that's not like a spirit or a guardian or a mini boss could do that amount of damage. We're so fast. I love that. I love the speed. This is amazing. So we're not... I don't know. I mean, obviously, we're like double the strength of a normal one. But that's because I've got an imprint. So I'm not sure really what this dude adds over a normal one. I feel like what I should have done is I should have got a... Uh, I should have raised up a regular one, got it fully imprinted and tested them together. That might have made some sense really, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm not that smart. I could get anyone one grown up and test it. Might take a while though. I've got a while. I could go and watch a bit of the World Cup and try it though. Hmm. Let me just kill some more stuff. We'll literally just <laughs> one shot in everything here. I'm just going to get a bunch of levels and then we can put that all into melee. And just see kind of how much damage we can uh, get to right now. But yeah, I thought we might have a special ability as we are like a Black Omega now. I don't feel any different. What I can hit. Oh, oh, that's a demonic. That's a demonic. We're going to be fine, right? We are fine. Look at this. This thing's dead nearly. Boom. That was a 174. That was nearly a max level demonic creature. It didn't even hurt us. We just kicked its butt. Oh, man. Okay, right. Killed a bunch of stuff then. 26 levels. I really feel like we need a bit of health. Okay, you know what? 5 million health is perfect. And then every other level now we get can go into melee. 5 mil health is perfect. Okay, and you. So we're now doing... Okay, you've got reduced damage. 623. That's crazy. I reckon we'd get very, very close to a mil damage. I don't think we'd quite make it, but we would get close to it. Oh, I need... I uh, kind of want a max health potion, a max XP potion now, just to see if we could. Oh! Ah! Don't like that! Don't like that! What was that? Oh, it's a dragon. Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's pop this into you. Let's go and kill it. Let's go and kill this. Chaos Dragon. Look at this. We're going to do it. It's killed a Chaos. It's just killed a Chaos Dragon. It might have killed that quicker than some of my other demonics. That's kind of incredible. That is, that is kind of incredible. Nine more levels. Don't you dare, Mr. Raji. I killed all this stuff. So we're going to put that all into melee, like I just said. Uh, I was looking to see if we've got any big XP potions. We don't. Uh, boss, boom. I'm going to take that. Boy, this dude. I wish it had a kind of a bite attack. Uh, not bite, like a, a gash attack or a bleed damage when it bit. I think that ability would uh, set it apart. All right, so we're now doing 692. I reckon max we could get us to is maybe 800,000. I do believe if we sacrificed our health, we could have got to a million. I don't think it'd be worth it, though. Five million means we can take damage, and if we're taking damage, we have enough time to whack a health potion in. 
God damn. Okay. Uh, do I, do I go and just make or grow up a regular one just to test it out? Hmm. I'll tell you what, go on then. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I can watch the second half of the football. Grow up a baby. Cool. Uh, all right, we've got a couple more levels. All right, let me run home. We'll just munch on every single thing on the way home. What I'm going to do then, I will grow up a regular Omega Indom. Obviously, its stats might be better. It might be worse, but, we'll, you know, it's the roll of the dice. We'll see what's happening, and we'll, we'll just compare it and see, kind of figure out what the difference is. All right, we have returned. So we have our Black Omega Indominus Rex. Obviously, this leveled up, so 5.1 mil health. This is a regular one. Uh, we actually got twins, but we only raised the one. So fully imprinted, uh, 2.3 mil health, which I think is around the same. Uh, so this dude's doing, what, seven... Uh, I can't even remember how much damage he's doing. But before we leveled up, it was doing 400 and summit nearly 500. It's going to take the saddle off you. I'm just going to chuck you both in a Pokeball to see if we can have a look at them Omega stats. So uh, Black Omega, 85, 6, 1. Normal one's doing 26, 8, 1. So this dude might have a lot more attack, but its defense isn't going to be as good. So just got to keep note of that. So let's just go test this dude out then. So just remember, it's not leveled up just yet. So fully imprinted, the Black Omega was doing 400 and some thousand damage. So left click, 500,000. So this dude's actually doing more damage. So I'm not sure what the difference is between them. Um, because I'm sure after a few levels we could get to 5 mil health. You know what I'm going to do with this guy? I'm going to focus on... Why can I not sprint? Okay, I can now. I'm not going to level up health at all. We're just going to level up melee and see if we can get to that mil. Because I think we can. I think we can if I can find a an XP potion along the way as well. We definitely can. I'm not... I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between a black and mega and a normal one. If you like, know... Let me know down below because I'm not seeing like a difference. I'm not seeing a crazy difference. I know we've got higher attack stuff, but I don't know, man. They don't even like look really different in color or in size or anything like that. I don't know. Confusing. Right. So we're now level 297. The Black Omega is level 292. So a little bit lower level. So that dude was doing, what, 700,000 damage, but we've put some into health. Without putting anything into health on this one, we're doing 879,000, so nearly 900,000. I feel like if we grinded and did get them extra few levels, which we would have to kill kind of a bunch more stuff, I think we could get to a mil. But we are sacrificing a little bit of health. So I don't know, man. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not seeing the difference. I feel like this dude, after we get that mill, we might even have some left over to put into health. I don't know. Uh, is there meant to be a big difference? Is there just a slight difference? Oh, that's a chaos dude. Oh, that's a chaos dude, but he's dead. It's dead, and we didn't even have to worry about healing at all. But, like, we're, we're too good here. We're too good. Any uh, more potions? Another potion there. Boom. Two more into that. That's got to be 900,000 damage, right? Oh, just short, just short. We're probably like five to eight levels away from a million. Okay, we're back. So let me just show you what damage we're doing right now. Uh, probably Turtle's not the best place. Actually, it's all right. 997,000 damage. So if I do this last level just here, boom, that should be one million damage. We did it, boys. We maxed out this dude's... Well, we're not maxed out, but we're close to maxing out. I'm not sure there's many levels left to it uh yeah one million damage you can do we have sacrificed a few mil health obviously the black omega has five mil health we only have 2.2 but we're doing one million damage now i know today we're supposed to be testing out the black omega and seeing how good it was but now we have a new better creature <laughs> we have this dude i do feel like maybe we could get i don't know i don't even know if we'd get that close to it with the black omega i think we'd probably get to eight 900,000 and then we'd be just short but yeah we have a creature that can do a million damage per bite and we attack pretty fast so I don't know uh <laughs> I didn't expect to actually like get all this shit get all the levels with him but we did it
just for some shits and giggles. We killed a loot boss as well. I didn't even check that. Any uh, celestial. Uh, we'll take that. Demonic. We'll take that. Any uh, spirit. Okay, so saddles are pretty much useless. But uh, yeah, there we go then. So what level are you in the end? A free 12. So if we look into you. So what? 20 levels difference. And this one, let me just check how much damage this one was doing. I'm going to have to get you out to get your saddle out. God damn it. So 20 levels difference. I guess that could be the difference between the damages and stuff. Hmm. So you're doing 1 mil. Let's just double check this to finish off. 1 million damage. 20 levels higher, which we would all put into melee. This is doing 707. Yeah, we wouldn't. We would probably get to 850. I don't know. Maybe it's just the, the stats. Maybe this dude would be better if he had the same stats, like melee stats as this, but I don't know why the black and mega is like rare and what the difference is. If anything, the normal one looks black. This one looks light. Like this has got more black skin on its face there. This one's got more... I don't even know what that is. It's more see-through, transparent, lava look. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I don't know. I'm confuzzled about all of that shit. But uh, yeah, we got one anyway, uh, which is cool. Tested them out. One million damage, boys. That is kind of insane. So what we're going to be doing next episode is we're going to be fighting the freaking Pick-On boss. This dude just here. So consume this to summon Pickon the creator boss. Summons Pickon the creator boss slash primal fear. Cool. So yeah, Celestial Empress Soul we got today. Demonic Empress Soul we got today. We've got all the Celestial and Demonic Souls there is. I need to make a Chaos Orb and a Spirit Orb. Uh, we have all the Primal Souls. We've got Artifacts. We've got... I think I need to go and kill an Origin Spino and a Penguin. So yeah, we're ready in terms of that. In terms of fighting the spirit wyvern and mega charizard i feel like we'll be able to handle this i've got a i've got a good feeling or i can go with me and dom and do millions of damage to it <laughs> we'll see so yeah we'll wrap it up we'll call it a day there then so if you did enjoy the episode make sure you are whacking a like on the video make sure you're subscribing you ring the bell and every notification following all the social medias all that good stuff if you want to support the channel that little bit more you can become a channel member or a patreon and if you want your name on the sign of legends like Javaka, Javaka, we got to just leave a comment in the comment section and you two can be a legend of the sign. So thank you very much for hanging out. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.